Hi everyone, so I'm showing you a video uh, to bleed the shapeshifter from the Canyon Strive. So this is a 16 model that lasted something like three seasons of a mix between enduro and downhill. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you a technique that is not simply pushing up and down the shape shifter but also playing with the IFP. So to come at this stage you need to remove the air, then the valve. I have a one dollar tool very useful for the application. Otherwise you can remove that one with a flat screwdriver. Then second step remove this bolt. It's a torque one. Use a torque tool. So careful uh, since you have some air inside the oil will come out with some pressure. For the hardware, I use the reverb bleeding kit. It's a good one coming with seals and it fits perfectly inside. You can do it without removing the shape shifter. Nevertheless, I think it's much better doing so. Then for the oil, I use the RockShock 2.5 WT. I think it's a good one. It's the same I use to uh, refill the reverb. Um, I would say it's a very thin oil, not recycled. So if you care more about performance than environment, I think it's a good choice. Otherwise, uh, there are always good options on the market, but performance and environment rarely come together. So in all the videos you will see a basic procedure to simply push and down the shape shifter. You can also do this way by just pressing and then going up and down. So my contribution is to just advise you that you can also play with the internal IFP. So once you start putting some air, the IFP is moving up and taking a lot of air bubble with him. So repeat these steps a few times. Just a matter of time, but I would say three to five is enough. Already did twice. Then to put it back to the initial position, so what you have to do is you press that one down push the IFP to the maximum until the shape shifters comes up and then press it down and it's ready to be fit. Thanks for watching.